<laughs> ask me the question. I'll have to ask you a question. Tell me, Dave Andrews, tell me about the Waiters' Union. Well, the Waiters' Union is um, a network of residents living in an inner city neighbourhood who um, are committed to developing mutual relationships with all people, but particularly more marginalised people, and journeying with, with those people in a, in a in a pilgrimage of discovering what the good news is uh, for them. So I think that's what's really significant about the Waiters Union is that um, we, we don't see ourselves as a community, we are a catalyst for community in our neighbourhood. So we don't define ourselves apart from our locality but as a part of our locality. And we don't describe ourselves as a, as a Christian community um, because Although we are inspired um, by the enchanting example of Jesus, we uh, want to be open to all people. Um, people who identify uh, with Christianity, but people who don't identify with Christianity. And so we want to develop an inclusive sense of community that includes anybody who um, wants to work for a more devoted, more inclusive, more non-violent uh, community in their locality and as part of that um, there's a constant conversation about who Jesus is and what he means to us uh, because we are explicit about our, our our desire to follow in the way of Jesus and to allow the, the way of Jesus to be a model for the way that we relate to people in our neighbourhood. I think one of the distinctives of um, the Waiters Union has been that um, we're anarchist not in an ideological sense, because um, we're anti-ideology, <laughs> uh, but in the sense that we are um, uh, opposed to the powers um, uh, that oppress people and exploit people, uh, particularly the power of religion, uh, even our own religion uh, that exploits people. Um, we're committed to a spirituality that we believe is not meant to be overpowering, but empowering, uh, a spirituality that enables people to gain self-control individually and collectively. It's our view that Jesus uh, introduced into the world a new understanding of power. And in Galatians where it talks about the fruit of the Spirit, um, one of the characteristics of this fruit of the Spirit of empowered people is that they have self-control. So we believe in developing uh, processes and structures that um, enable people to develop individual and collective self-control. So the way this union as a network encourages people to um, develop ways of responding to the community themselves, that are Christ-like ways of responding, whether people are Christian or not. And we encourage those groups of people to own their own activity, to manage it, to name it, to organise it, and to find a way of making decisions about how they do what they do in a way that really consults everybody. Uh, we encourage people to work by consensus as much as possible and where consensus is not possible, uh, by consent. And for us, consent is where uh, you've tried to come to consensus, uh, not everybody can agree, uh, but rather than have a vote that just dismisses the minority, we actually ask permission of the minority who disagree uh, to proceed. And um, that, of course, then gives them the right to um, to publicly say we were wrong if we got it wrong because their, their dissent is acknowledged and honoured. And through our network we um, encourage people to do whatever they like to respond to the issues around about us. The Waiters Union is there to, to develop a culture, um, a spirited culture, um, a culture that is inspired by the radical compassion of Christ. And we, but we encourage everybody to work that out. Uh, in the way that they respond in any way that they like. It's not centrally controlled at all. Mm -hmm. We don't have rules or regulations, we have multiple conversations. And if people have concerns about the way anybody is working something out, we encourage them to talk to each other about that. We believe in accountability, but it's not a hierarchical accountability where we're accountable to a hierarchy. Uh, our accountability is um, uh, one that's more mutual than hierarchical, where everybody's encouraged to ask one another questions about what we're doing and why we're doing it and we encourage everybody to be answerable. For us accountability is answerability, that we are open to everyone questioning us about anything that we say or do and we are committed to being answerable to one another.
So we don't try to control what people are doing, but we try to um, critically engage each other around activities that we're involved with and continually reflect on how what we're doing um, uh, is congruent or to what degree what we're doing is congruent with the way of Jesus. And so we're constantly critically, critically reflecting on our activities in, in the light of the Gospels.